Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, um, where we like to give you information and insights about the board games you might want to have in your own collection. And you may have gathered we do unboxing videos where we show you what's inside the box so you have a good idea before you play. So today we're going to be looking at The Extraordinary Adventures Pirates. Um, and this comes from Forbidden Games. Um, this is a review copy, so thank you kindly to them for sharing this with me. And it's by Glenn Drover and Don Byer. Um, now, initially looking at this, clearly this is about pirates. Um, and I must say I'm rather impressed with the representation here that's on the cover. Pirate games usually have an occasional lady. We also have a person of colour. Um, and while pirates is a done to death kind of theme, um, I hope that this one kind of offers us something exciting. So first thing to note, this box is quite tall and narrow, as you can see, and it's quite big. Flip it on its side. There we go. Um, this is nice and embossed, actually. I really like how it feels, so the pictures are kind of laminated. So that looks really good. And I'll have a quick peek at the back. And here we have, let's see what kind of pirate game we're getting. One that seems to have lots of cards. Um, it claims it's got miniatures. And we're going on adventures, like most pirate games. Um, this is interesting. It says it'll take 60 minutes to play for two to six players. Six is a, of a good number. Um, it's two on the complexity scale out of five. It's got three strategy towers out of five and for ages eight and up. And there's like an adorable looking purple meeple in the corner. And the box does feel quite weighty. So I'm very excited to see what kind of components we get inside. All right, so let's see what's actually in our box and then we'll have a closer look at the components afterwards. So first things first, it's a very nice box actually, it's very thick. And the first thing we get is the official rules. Please tell me this is the rule book. <laughs> it's a small, like almost like a pamphlet. Um, it's full colour, waxy paper. We'll have a very quick look through the rule book. So an overview, some contents. So it tells you exactly what everything is. Wow, there are lots of things. Yeah, definitely a card driven game because there are decks, there are pirate meeples, which is super cool. Um, I love how colourful this is. There's actually very little text here. So it doesn't seem to be a particularly complex game, which is good, meaning you can get played, start playing quickly. So there's a beginner options version and an advanced gamer option. I always love when games do that. Um, I think it makes it better for everyone who might want to play. Here's how you play rounds and turns, playing cards, doesn't look too complicated at all. There are merchant ships. There's bits of pirate history thrown in, which is actually kind of cool. Um, ending and scoring, and then the credits now. And it has nothing on the back. Bit of a wasted moment, but the, the rules do seem to be quite light. So, next up, oh, please tell me this is the board. Oh my god, <laughs> this is a lot of board. Like, wow, that is some chunky board. This might be the thickest game board I've ever seen and I'm not going to be able to fit all of this on the camera so you're going to have to bear with me while I unfurl it. Wow. Okay, first thing to note about this player board other than its size is it feels amazing. It's so nice. It's lovely and smooth. Okay, I'm not good with rule, with, I was going to say with rule books but I actually met with these boards. Like, this thing is ginormous, just to give you an idea. And it is split right down the middle, so it's the kind of game that might need a little help the first time you play it to flatten it out. But it's so thick. So my mine's actually upside down. And if I try to turn it, we could be in trouble. But I should. So, oh my god, I just can't get over the size of it. I was not expecting that from such a little box. Now I'm going to make lots of clatter. Okay, we can do this. Okay, so the pirate is actually on the right hand side. And then a beautiful colour. It's a beautiful colour. Right, and then we have error. Now, I'm slightly better prepared than I was a moment ago. Okay, so we'll start on the left hand side of the board so you guys can see with me just a bit. It's huge, by the way, this board is massive. So there's space for your deck. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's like, it's almost like it's a little finished. It's kind of rough. Um, and it's a map of some islands um, that I probably should recognise because, you know, San Juan and Tortuga are both here. Um, all sorts of places that are already board games, which is cool. And there's lots of little, obviously, little dots to go around. Um, there's Maracaibo. I'll keep moving across. This is huge. So there are loads of places to go. I love the artwork on this. It's very colourful, very bright, super fun. And then up here at the top, it tells you the number of victory points for number of players. So it's got reminders. The back of it doesn't have anything. It is simply a black 
board. Now, can I put this back together? Yes, I can. It folds very, very well for its size. But um, that's quite an impressive board, isn't it? It's beautiful. Okay, and look at this, peoples. Here we go. So, um, this is a beautiful insert and a ridiculously nice presentation of your game. Like, you open this up and you can't help but be excited. Um, okay, so we'll see what we actually can see, everything we have in here. So, there's a lot of pieces. So, there's a nice velvety bag. Comes with a ton of just pirate meeples. We have cards, some sort of treasure tiles, um, ships in the player colours, and there is another tray of ships in your player colours, which is fantastic. And now I'm going to go through all the components separately. So we have an adorable um, and lovely velveteen bag, saying extraordinary pirates. It's on the small size, but I assume you don't have to put too many things into it. It's really nice quality. So we have an assortment of giant wooden pirate meeples. These are really, really thick and chunky. Um, obviously they match the player colours. So you can have a, a good look there. Let's see, can I zoom in? I can. Um, they're huge. Like They're really, really thick and solid. Um, they're quite impressive actually as a whole. Whoop. You have a little closer look. So they're lovely. Um, I really like those. I also like the colours are not directly primary colours. Actually the red and the green might be, but they're nice to see purple and the yellow isn't a straight yellow and the blue isn't a primary blue. Um, okay, so let's see what's next. So we're going to look at some of these tiny, tiny little sailboats that we get. Are they really sailboats? Well, they have sails um, that come in each player colour. So um, I love the fact they have a tray. I think that's just brilliant. And each of these themselves are actually really quite chunky plastic. Um, I really like them. They're not like thin and wafy. You could definitely sail the seas with them. Um, then they're all identical in each colour, so there doesn't seem to be different. They have a quite a good base on them. There we go. So it's got a nice disc on the bottom that you use for while you're playing. And I love the tray. Tray super impressive. There's plenty of room. It's not a particularly fiddly tray. So we have more of these in a variety of colours. So normally we would end up with some wooden cubes, but instead we have plastic cargo cubes. Um, yet again, they seem to be in the player colours. They are very nicely made because they're got all kind of... They're beveled on each edge, so it's really like a little crate, a lot of effort went into those. They feel quite nice too, actually. They're quite, they're weighty. They don't feel um, too thin of a plastic um, and all these player colours. Um, cool. So next is, so next up is these tiles, um, which you have victory points bonus on them. So it appears that you'll be trading in those little cargo cubes to be able to complete these. Um, first thing to note is these are incredible. These feel, almost feel like beer mats, like really thick beer mats. They are impressive. They have a great feel to them and they see treasure on the back of them. We do seem to have a, a decent enough number of them for a game that's going to play relatively quickly. Um, and they are lovely. They all seem to have the same kind of picture. They're all just the same treasure chest. Yes, they are. But they've got different names for each one for you to complete. Um, they are particularly spectacular as well. Um, and we'll move on to our final um, component. And our final component is the set of cards, um, which came with that really easy to open little tab thing, which I always appreciate. Um, so there are three different piles. I don't know if they're actually different. So they've got Extraordinary Adventures Pirates on the back. They're linen finished. They're very sturdy linen finished though, not the ones with the curled edges, at least not yet. Um, and here we go, they do all sorts of things. So you'll learn the life too. They all have numbers. Okay, so these are all sets of the same guy. Lots of number twos. Um, so we have a merchant seaman. There, so there's a young merchant seaman, a merchant seaman. Um, they like the little quotes on them. The art's quite interesting. It's definitely an acquired taste kind of thing. Um, yeah, more merchant seamen. So obviously we're going to use these throughout the game to go places. Merchant captain. They're really nice cards though. The quality wise here is through the roof for everything. So now these guys, these also all have the same backs, but they seem to have different fronts. So they have like a lover. We must be desperate. Ooh. These ones seem to be coloured as well, so we have a blue one. Oh, you must get them for each player, I suppose. There's an able-bodied seaman, so we probably we have a hand of cards that are, are you know, for each player. Fair enough. You can see more of those. The lover. So let's see if the last pile is also connected, because these look different than all the others, this treasure bit. So these have the same backing again. So obviously, you, all of your cards 
won't be told apart in your hands for treasure. Two future points, treasure ships. So this is how we get fair wind, three. Okay. So I was wondering how we were gonna get a boat running before the wind. So these must be all the kind of things you can, you can do throughout the game. Um, I do like that they're all labeled differently. The art's gonna come move forward in the red track. Seven from Domingo, excellent. So I really look forward to seeing what this game has to offer over like other pirate games, because pirate games are incredibly popular. So to stand out, you gotta do something really special. So I'm curious to see how all of this works together. Um, but if nothing else, this game has some um, fantastic components and definitely a lot of promise. That really is a perfectly made insert. I don't think I've ever seen one fit everything as neatly. Um, and then it gets put the big board on top of it. So I don't think it matters if you're gonna store it horizontally or vertically should get the same organized effect, which I think is pretty special. So I've just unboxed Extraordinary Adventure Pirates and we had a look at the components together. Um, what do you think about this game? Does it look so, like something you might be interested in playing? Um, I think it's definitely a game that has um, something going for it. I'm dying to see how gameplay goes, but as far as kind of how it's put together and how it's presented, it looks really, really exciting. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you'll tune in again for another unboxing video or perhaps a review. And why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can hear updates about my latest videos. And until next time, take care. I'll be playing games and asking questions and hopefully um, unboxing further titles. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.